Elizabeth and today I'm going to teach you how to bottle feed your rabbit just in case you have a runt or one that needs some extra supplement. Maybe it's a large litter and it's there's one that's not getting any food. So we use um, this KM Arts cat supplement because it's what I can find that's easy. You can also use goat. Um, both of them have their benefits and their cons because I mean there's really nothing perfect for a rabbit but you can do your research on that but that's what I went with the cat because it's easy and I'm just using it to kind of boost our little runt and then hopefully he's still getting food from his mom because I'm not this is not 100% what I'm giving him I don't recommend that unless you just have a mother that dies and if that happens then the chances of you trying to save that litter is, is going to be really hard unless you just have a whole bunch of time to take care of them and feed them. Now with baby rabbits you only feed them twice a day. Okay, You don't need to feed them every couple hours like a human baby or other babies. They're used to being fed twice a day. Okay, Depending on how your yours is looking you kind of have to judge if it needs a little bit more or a little, you know, if it needs a third or a fourth feeding. But for my purpose, what I'm doing is I'm supplementing. So I'm only going to do this once a day to help get that baby a little bit of energy so that it can, the next nursing in the evening or the morning, whatever it may be, it has the energy to get to that mama and to feed. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So be right back. So I'm going to try to feed it here and see if it'll be receptive and then I can also get it close up in a little bit. It, and you, when you're feeding them, you don't want to hold them upside down necessarily. You just and you want to make sure they throw them. Yeah. Bubba thinks that it's a cute little rabbit. And you don't want to like feed it too much. So I always put a little drip like on my finger or on my skin where it can lick it off. Because you don't want to get it in its nose. It's okay. It is easier to hold them upside down because you can see their mouth a little bit faster or easier. But then it, whenever you're doing that, even though that's how they eat on their mama, they're, it's not the same. So you have to kind of be very careful. You got a little lick that time up. I know it's really far off. It's kind of hard to see. Here, I'll see if I can bring it. But see its little mouth. You don't want to get it on the nose. If you did it close to the nose, you want to wipe it off. But you just kind of hold it there. And I just kind of rub it back and forth. And you'll see it eating. It's little mouth. And again, this. Sorry for all the noise. Oh, they got a good little drop that time. We'll let it just lick. It's getting kind of close to the nose, so I'll wipe it away. See, it's like a little mustache. And you just do that for a while until it stops eating. And again, I'm just doing it for this poor little guy or girl because it's a little skinny. And I tried to feed it, have its mama feed it, but she's a first time mom. This is Rainbow Dash's babies. And she wouldn't lay still. I was afraid she was going to squish it. So you can kind of see it's licking. You just gotta go slow to get it eaten. It's so cute. You just wanna kinda, just a drop. You can see Carly in the background playing. <laughs> but again, it's getting close to its nose, so I'm gonna wipe it because I don't wanna get any food. If you have milk up your nose, that's not a good feeling at all. No. Or water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I'm, so far I've bottle fed two babies, and 
Both of them didn't make it. They were really, really, really tiny runs, and one of them was kind of sickly. I think it had a birth defect. So, hopefully this one looks fine. It's just a little bit skinny. It's body and everything looks fine. So hopefully it'll be okay and it'll make it through. That's all you do. It's just a long process. So, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch it. So I will give you an update on how this little rat's doing, if it makes it through, and if it starts being able to eat better with its mama. So, hopefully this helped you. I'm sorry about the background noise. Of course, I have two kids, and you know, when you have to feed a baby, you have to feed a baby, and you have to, I have Charlie right over here in the high chair. I can kind of spin you around in the high chair. He's playing. He's supposed to be playing with toys, but he's not. I will keep you updated. I'm gonna finish feeding this baby, but I'm not gonna make you guys watch. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up, and I will make sure if you leave a comment, I will give you a heart. Or a lot of times I comment back. So I'm very thankful for all of my watchers and everybody that supports my channel. God bless. Thanks for watching. Sounds fun. Don't forget to subscribe.